Hey guys, so my lab's kind of getting a little messy, so I've been putting together this bulletin board, and it's just a regular bulletin board, and I've been using needles to pin up different circuit boards that I either, you know, have used in the past, or some of these I've designed, some of these are old projects, and it's just kind of nice to, you know, be able to look at all of them, and, uh, you know, just get inspired and remember some of the things I've done. And this right here is the very first Arduino board that I've ever bought. Uh, probably, you know, six years ago, something like that. And just, yeah, just various boards. So we have a uh, you know, regular Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, uh, Arduino Nano, Pro Mini. There's a MSP. 430 here. This is a DigiSpark, a Trinket, some Wi-Fi boards, the original Raspberry Pi, and uh, some other boards. This is a little programmer for um, just Atmel chips. And uh, yeah, so looks pretty cool. I also have this little shelf over here. And this, I've never really talked about this, and I can't really say much more than what I'm about to, but this is one stage of a large power supply I built all by myself. I designed the, um, the huge ladder. It's about 14 feet tall and uh, around 1.6 million volts. And some of this other stuff is just stuff that I like. This is just some ferrofluid. It's a Decatron. Um, just an old voltmeter. This is air gel. Uh, if you're not familiar with air gel, it's the world's lightest solid. It's like 99% air by volume. And uh, this is like a little mercury dial. And it's an old Russian device that would let you know the total runtime of a machine. So as current gets passed through this tube here there's a little tiny bubble that you can't really see but that bubble will move to the right and you can't really will rewind it once it goes past the end i think you can cheat it if it's in the middle you can rewind back but if you go if it goes all the way to the end you're kind of you're done with it so one of these days i'm going to be doing a lab tour i don't really want to do it right now because it's kind of messy at the moment but if you recognize these part bins that I have on both sides of my lab bench, they're from an old Radio Shack that closed down and I bought six of them. So I got three, three on each side of my bench here. And uh, yeah, like I said, once I clean up and kind of organize everything, I'll show you guys an uh, in-depth tour and um, you know show you some of my drawers, you know, I have dev boards, um, a lot of electronic stuff on this side. And this is more of like tools and glues and stuff like that. And so I just started really putting stuff on here today and it would be really awesome if I could just get this whole wall filled up and, you know, have maybe two, three, four of these bulletin boards that I just start filling up because I got a lot of other dev boards and I have a lot of ESP32 stuff that I've recently been getting into and it's quickly becoming my favorite chip. So um, I'll be adding a lot more boards that I have from that and a couple that I've been designing that are on their way actually. So the next video might even be about a board that I'm designing. So, but anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll see you next time. Bye.